Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are watching fourth video of this series of Terraform. In this particular video, we are going to discuss Terraform format function. We will see how do we use format and formatless function in your Terraform code. Hello, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Be A Learner. Format function can be used to format the list of variables or set of variables. If you have multiple variables, if you want to use concatenate those variables with a specific format type, then you can use the format function. Let's look at the documentation of Terraform and find out what information we have available over there related to this format function. So in the format function, Terraform documentation says that we should have a specification which specify what we want to format and then the values which you would like to format. For example, I can declare it like this. Let's see how it works. We have a variable created. Let's say I would like to create a resource group out of these three variables values. So my resource group should look like the company name and then environment name, project name and then environment name basically. So to do that, there are multiple options. Let's see something like that so now if i just output this r3 then so that will display the intended result which we are looking for and you can see that we have our resource group name which is combination of our company name project name and the environment name create the resource group name using the format function and format i can specify string dash String dash string. This is the name I would like to give, and let's say I would like to put RG as in suffix, and then I can specify the parameters like this. And if we just put it into output, that should display the same result. Here you go, you have got the same result though we are using rg because we have specified dash rg in our format function but this is how you can use the format function very very easily so if you look at the documentation again basically you would have so many works available which you can use to basically in your format function for example you can convert you can use the q sign convert a string and produce json coded string representation so let's see how do we use this as you can see it has given the json representation of the string and if you have any requirement like this you can use the format function with percentile q sign and this is going to be really really helpful now let's say i have a variable which is of type list. Let's take an example of my AD groups, for example. So I have the AD groups, which is the, let's say, admin group, contributor, and then I have a reader group. Now, I would like to add a suffix or prefix to each item of my list. So this is my list type of variable. And let's say I would like to create it something like that. I would like to produce a list with, let's say, demo admin item number one, demo contributor, and then demo dash reader for example so if i like to do that on this list or any number of result on this list 
So how do you do that? One option could be you iterate uh, each item of this list using the for each loop or count loop. And in the each item, basically you put append the, the required text which you want to append and then create a list basically. But it's going to be really, really complex logic. Why do you want to do that if you can do it with the easier way? So what is the easiest way? The easiest way is to use the format list function, which can, you can use it like this. Declare format list, specify the string which you want to append, doesn't matter, prefix or suffix, then provide the letter character, which you want to use it inside your format function. And then you want to specify your list which you want to format basically. So now if I run the Terraform plan, you can see that this is my list looks like. So I still have the list, but each item of my list has got the prefix appended. And this is how it works. And this is a really cool feature. If I would require to do the same thing, like I have a list, then find each item, then you are going to use this thing and it's going to be really, really difficult, right? So there are you can use format and format function. I hope this is helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the video. See in the. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.